move in, our kids play outside, they're playing on the dirt, they could be being exposed to arsenic. El Toro is contaminated with trichloroethylene. It's in the groundwater, it's right below us. This is the plume extending off of the base. Different levels of TC, five times, 10 times. Thousands of Marines are sick, they're dying. Kidney and liver cancer, bladder cancer, esophageal cancer, uh, leukemia. If I had a house that was over a major plume of trichloroethylene, 150 feet down, I would want to know if those vapors were permeating up through the soil. It's, it's not about people, it's about money. You're going to cover things up and you're going to expose them to poison and pretend that it's not your fault. It's up to the plaintiffs to band together to sue the, the developer of the land. We've been exposed to, to an, an unprecedented level of toxins from a shipyard that's a Superfund site. Black people are dying of cancer, asthma, bronchitis, and there were black people from this board telling the EPA, you don't have to worry, everything is fine for black people and their health out there in Hunter's Point. A lot of activity was going on I didn't know anything about. Because at that time they had the uh, radiological lab here. We have to wait for people to, you know, to die, and uh, that's one of the reasons why the situation is dragging on. 